Hey guys, this is Mitch from the Trek Bike Store here on Catherine Street in Victoria. Uh, we're just going to walk you through a quick uh, flat repair here. You know, the one repair we should all be able to do ourselves. You know, everything else, there's bike shops, but flat repair, you got to be able to take care of. You are going to get a flat at some point. Okay, so once you have the wheel off your bike, we'll pretend this is flat here. So here's our flat tire. We've clearly run over something, picked up a puncture somewhere along the way in our journey here. So we'll walk you through all the steps to change this out and get back on your way. First step, most of us have a Presta, the newer style valves now. You want to unthread the collar that's holding it to the rim. Hang on to it. And then we want to break the bead free from the rim. To do that, you put your thumbs on one side of the rim and then pull the tire against them, pop. Pop them off. Go all the way around, snapping that bead free. This tire's got a pretty loose fit, so you're not hearing a real crisp pop, but if you have a road bike, you will hear a nice little snap as that tire breaks free of the rim. So I'm gonna go around on both sides. Got the bead free now, we can see into the rim here. Once we've got that step, now we go into our repair kit, which we all have on our bikes, of course, and we get a tire lever. Using the wedged end of the tire lever, not the hooked end. Peel back one side of the bead until you can see underneath of it. Get your tire lever in there, fold the tire lever down, pull it towards yourself, spinning the bead free. Okay, and go all the way around. Now we can get the tube out, pull the tire across the top of the tube, push the tube out from the bottom, and she'll come right out. There we are. So once you have your tube out, if there's not an obvious cause of the flat, what you can do is put a bit of air in the bad tube to see what's happened. You'll usually be able to find where air is escaping then once you do that. So let's say we have a pump with us here. Say we pump it up. Let's say we see a couple uh, or a hole here on the tube with air escaping. What you can do then is bring your tube back to the rim, line the valve hole up with the valve. And since we know we found point of air escaping here in the tube, we now know we can inspect that section of tire, make sure we've got all the debris out of there. Okay. So let's say we've uh, pulled this out. We found uh, cause of the flat there. We've located the spot on the tire. We found a thorn, gotten rid of it, or a staple, whatever it may be. Um, if you're confident that was the only thing that caused the issue, then we can go and put a new tube in now. However, a good practice would be to, before you reinstall a new tube, get your hand, rub it along the inside of the tire everywhere, make sure there's no additional debris, no staple or thorn in there, because if you go to the effort of putting a new tube back in and pumping it up and then it goes flat right away, you'll be sad. Okay. So there we go. Okay, so now we've got our new tube out from our repair kit. We put just enough air into it so it's holding its shape. Don't need much, just enough so it doesn't um, flop around on you. As you're installing it back in the tire, make sure you close the valve off or else every time you touch it, you'll lose more and more pressure. And then starting with the valve, find our valve hole, which is in the rim there. Just as we got the tube out, we're gonna pull the tire over the valve hole and put the tube in. And then tire back across the tube. And tuck the tube in all the way around. You want to make sure that it is sitting all the way in the rim, like so. Once you've got the tube inside the rim, you can now pinch the tire back on the whole way around. So I like to start at the valve again. Now a lot of people here, they try and like lift the tire up and set it in the rim. All you need to do is pinch and keep moving outwards, both directions at the same time. And we'll do that until we get to the end here where it's gonna get really stiff. So this is the key technique of doing this is how to get this last bit on without using a tire lever. You can, of course, put a tire lever in a really tricky one and leverage it on, but the odds you puncture the tube are gonna be fairly high. So you wanna be able to do this with just your hands if possible. So what you do at this point, 
we've pinched it on as hard as we can all the way around, da, da, da. we've gotten to the point where we can't go any further. We're gonna go back to the valve here. I'm gonna pinch the whole tire and try and draw it outwards with me in both directions. What this is doing is moving any slack in the tube and tire we can find down to the spot at the end here. So now we've done that, we should be able to get this a little bit further. Yep, so it's made us another couple inches of progress there. Now the last section here, where the tire's transitioning from being seated, so in the rim to not seated outside the rim, that's where we're gonna attack it. So we're gonna start with one hand on this part. We're gonna grab the whole tire, roll it forwards and hold. Now we're gonna go over to this side, the other point where it's transitioning. Same thing with the other hand. I'm now still holding with the first hand. Go to the second spot and I'm gonna roll it forwards and hold. Now I can let go with the first hand, move it over and pop. This one was pretty easy. Again, a road tire is going to be a little bit trickier, but same technique, you know, work it in with your hands. Okay. Okay, so now we'll reach into our repair kit. Obviously, we won't have a compressor with us on the road here, but we'll get reach into our repair kit, get our pump or our CO2, whatever we have with us. Just put a bit of air in the tire, not inflate it completely right away. Got a little bit of air in, take one last visual inspection, make sure the tube's not sticking out anywhere. We're pretty happy with that, it looks good. So now we're gonna go up to our pressure. Okay. And then final check, just to make sure the tire is on correctly the whole way. Pick up the wheel by just holding on to the center axle. Pick it up and give it a spin. And you wanna look at the profile of the tire. If it's nice and consistent, you've got it mounted correctly. If you see any hopping or wobbling in it, we need to go back a step, reinflate the tire further, and make sure it's seated all the way. So that looks good. So we're gonna throw that on the bike and carry on. I just think so. Make sure the gears, make sure it's working well. 